so the new office chairs arrived today. The gaming chair, I'm not so sure that I do any gaming, but uh, I thought I'd just do a little unboxing of it. And uh, I could, it's the only one I could find, but it's not on YouTube, so I thought we'd have a little play at it. So here we go. Over to you, Ed. He says, do not open with a knife, but have help that you're supposed to open it if you don't want it with a knife. Right, so what do we get? Installations. It's gone off. It's okay, just tap the back of the seat and come back on. Right, we get the, hold up the base. We'll come to all this in a bit. It weighs a bloody ton, this box. No wonder they didn't want to deliver it. I mean, it might be DPD for a couple of thousand days. to be really professional. <laughs> yeah, this is a really professional box, isn't it? Now, what else have we got? Some more crap. What else? What oh, a nice cushion. Some more crap. See you to me. That's it, I think. Oh, this one, yeah. With an armrest. We didn't get two armrests here. Yep. And an old cushion. Another armrest. Right, here we are, back on. So we're just gonna put some lights on, I think. And we're just gonna see what we've got in this little, oh, in this big box, actually. So, I can see what this is. This is some sort of boudoir soft cushion. It's very nice. Very nice. It's a little dummy like that. Look at that. That's very nice, that bit. Then we've got two of these babies here, which are the armrests. I can see that they are. I thought we'd just show you all this before we start assembling it all. Got two of them, they're supposed to be soft. Oh yeah, they are, give them that. The top deal. I'm going to put them to one side. There's another one. There we go, put them on them. The reason, another reason why I want to show you this unboxing is because my daughter has a chair made by uh, Secret Labs. <laughs> which Chris, the son-in-law, uses all the time for gaming. It's a lovely chair, but I mean, I priced one up when it was something like 600 quid. So I'm not going to tell you how much this one was just yet, but we're going to give it a little comparison. And actually, Katie's coming down later on, so she can sit above on it, and she can tell us what she thinks, and Chris is coming, so we're going to see. So what we've got in here. You can see how tidy he is with packaging. What are you saying? This is my glamorous assistant, M. Right, I'll put that down here for a moment. The instructions us. You don't even need them. All this crap is going there. Right, what have we got here? Might need a knife for this one. What happened to the knife, anybody? 
You, always, you should always carry a knife. Not. There we go. I bought some of them special openers from Amazon that can only be done through the air. This will be your main, uh, whatever they call it, you want to be the assembly we've read the instruction ones which you get which is not perfect but what's concerning is showing here that we should have four of those and 12 of those and we've only got four bolts in total they're both different sizes so I'm suspecting that maybe like there's some in the sides that maybe it's already assembled in part so we'll start with what it says first of all the assembly is to turn this on its belly and put, and put in the five casters so we'll start with that which is going to be a pretty simple job even for me Got a thought. Five. So that's that bit. Right. Moving on, then it says install the gas strut, which I presume is this little baby, which must just drop in there. Oh, that holds 185 kilograms, I don't know. But let's see. Then we get the decorative, what do they call this? Sleeve. Which goes on there like so and then we get this little pumpkin piece here right moving on we've found the loose bolts now it's already in the back of the chair so this little item goes on here with your said bolts going in here and just that one off here Nice little tool here look, nice little allen key with a phillips on, which is helpful. Which is it's not could have gone and got me one out at workshop but I can't be arsed. So I'll just get one just running down a little bit first. Okay, moving on. We've just installed these armrests, there's a right and a left obviously. What I do like about these, not only do they give you the allen screw, they give you a spring washer and a flat washer which is engineering science as we all know. Bit of advice is if you've got one of these, a little pen, if you've got one of these, use one of these because their little tool, you just start catching it on here, or maybe the advice would be really is to put the armrests on, is to put the armrests on before you put this this unit on here. That's what, we, that's what I think I did wrong. It don't tell you to do that, but I think if you put the armrests on and then put your swadging unit, or what they call it on next, it'll be easier. So you've got four bolts here which have tightened, you've got four bolts that side, and you've got four bolts this side to tighten up. So that's your, that's your 12 bolts, four, eight, 12. And now we've found them, I'm happy. We've now put the seat in the back, in the right way around with your lugs towards you. Two bolts go in here, and they save it to the other side and tighten them up. And then we're gonna move on to the next procedure. Right, your next pieces are these pieces, which are, they're coded, so one's right, one's left. This is the left piece, it just clips into that slot there look then you put a long screw in there phillips screw and then you tighten it up and you finish up with the little decorative m as they call it it's just a little plug which goes in there as you can see there like that and that's how that finishes that side off now so we're now going to move on to the next side right so not many tantrums really not much shouting at one another you know when you're helping but anyway we've got the job done so there she is there's your chair complete look uh armrests which I play guitar, which I'm hoping that the, you can twist them up. You can, uh, what else can you do with them? Pull them forwards, backwards. 
and also there's a way of making them go to the sides on oh, that way look so you can make them come into you or go away from you so like that's got away from it or you can bring it back into you like that that's quite neat isn't it see when you're playing guitar I'd like no armrest because you can't you get full movement with your guitar but obviously I'm doing me uh, editing and that on this chair this is what it's for um, I just couldn't bring myself to pay 600 pound for them so uh, this chair, if you look in the links, I'll, I'll put a link to it. And right now, there's a £50 voucher with this chair, which was £279. Right, and I think it's a, yeah, I think it's good value. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm a fatty and I've just sat in it and it seems to work. So... You get that, you get a lumbar cushion as well, as I said here, which I presume goes something like that in your back. Then you get this one, which my dear wife's just put on, and I've just wrecked off, which goes on about there, something like that. I don't know how it goes on, it's on with that clip, if you want that on. So yeah, over and all, as I said, there's a £50 voucher right now on Amazon. So uh, that's what it is, the Crone and I'll give you the link and the name and everything what it's called. Uh, in the description. That's Big D's review so far of the Fat Man's chair. As I say, it was up to 180 kgs. So, uh, Alexa, what is 180 kilograms in stones? 180 kilograms is about 28 stones. 28 stones, so there you go, plenty of room. You can have a pork pie. Okay then, thanks for watching, and if you like the channel, please give it a click and give it a like, and if you fancy to subscribe, every little bit helps. Thanks a lot, bye.